It's too much of a party. Letting go of all the bad thoughts and all the negative thoughts and just being a puppy. It's not like you have like this huge pride or like this big community. It's a message for the whole world. The pupils are more open. You have to be, you know, conscious, political, but at the same time, relaxed and free. He said, yes, if you want to be friends with me, you have to believe in some conspiracy theories. Once a year, the Brandenburg Gate, the streets filled with lots of music, colorful people and all sorts of shops. Like yeah. I'm Quint, he him, but this video isn't about me. I'm on a quest to find out what people's connection to pride is and what the term queerness means to them. That's a tough question. Sometimes adults have to share a green tea and discuss the meaning of life. I have two lighters with me. If you talk to me about the meaning of life, you can have this one. The meaning of life? Oh, one just has to buy a new colorful. How much is one? Five euros. This is glow in the dark and the rainbow. Ah, okay, it's even Which glowing, even the uh, rainbow, rainbow color, yeah. Are you from Berlin? No, I'm from Brazil. Brazil, okay. Yeah, I live here, so. What are you doing? I'm tattoo artist. And tattoo artist, okay. Telling for fun, not too much. Yeah. And also... Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Would you answer a question? Of course. Just how are you doing? Uh, doing great. Berlin is great. Great time, great people. Much love, happy pride. How do you got this idea of wearing the mask? It just happened, like I saw it online maybe, and I thought maybe I should try it. And I bought myself a very cheap mask for the first time, and I tried it and I really liked it. Going all in the headspace and just like letting go of all the bad thoughts and all the negative thoughts and just being a puppy, just being happy, just having a good time. Sorry, I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah, are you excited? Of course. You actually caught our attention, do you know why? Because I'm beautiful, thank you. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. How is it to kind of be around here grabbing all that attention? I mean, we just arrived and already like 2,000 people asked for our pictures and it's very flattering. <laughs> Can I just ask you one question? How many times do you think you have been photographed today? Oh my god! <laughs> one time. <laughs> one time again. Are you like doing this a lot or is it like a special? We should do it more often, but we do it like, I don't know four times a year or something. But it's also fun, like everyone is very kind and open-minded and that's very sweet. Yeah, are you from Berlin? I'm not originally, but I live here since 2012. And I'm proud to be gay. <laughs> that's nice. How do you like Christopher Street Day? How is it? It's important to be here. It's and also uh, fun. It's it's to show here we are and it's a normal part of, of Berlin and of, of, of life in, in general. Would you say it's good as it is or do you have any critiques about it? I mean, it depends what you're looking for. They, I think they really found a way to make it a little more political because they realized that it's too much of a party and they had like an alternative pride festival. So I think they somehow managed to change it a bit and make it more political, which I find good. But I also would say that it's a good thing that's a little bit of party. I always like to party. Yeah, I think yeah. it also brings people together. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. And a lot of people, like it's, I don't know if it's over a million, but it feels like it. It feels like it for sure. Yeah. Are you wearing this on a daily basis, if I may ask? Of course, every day in the office. <laughs> so what's your job actually? Fun fact, I'm a teacher. <laughs> it's nice to have a teacher on camera who's like this open. Where are you from? I'm Colombian. Colombian, and you yeah. came all the way here or are you living in no, Berlin? I live in Berlin. Okay, nice. Yeah. How long are you living here for? Oh, since October. And how do you like it? I mean, in October it was shit. Uh, now the summer is getting better. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But welcome. How do you like Christopher Street Day Pride, that entire event? I like it. Today was super fun. Yeah. I mean, the water didn't help that much, but it was. Would you consider I'm yourself not queer? Positive, but yes, supportive. Uh, you know, I support diversity and all this stuff, so yes. And how are you guys doing? How do you like it? Uh, we love it. Actually, I love it a lot. It's really fun. Is it a thing in Colombia? Actually, it's not. How is it? To I mean, it's street? fine, but it's not like you have like this huge pride or like this big community. How do you like it? How do you like it? Oh, I love it so much because I'm coming from a different background and it's a little bit different for me. And that's why I'm making this, you know. It's really wonderful and touching for me. It means a lot. We feel really just fantastic here. Unlike in England, this is this is just the greatest city in the world. Mm -hmm. I want to be here today because it's the best city in the world, the best place for pride. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing a holiday here. I'm from Thailand. From Thailand? Yeah. And do you enjoy it? Yes, of course. Good to talk to some international people that are not from Berlin or not like originally from Berlin. All around the place. Nice. I'm Quinton actually. I'm from Berlin. You're from Berlin. Amazing, yeah. This is my friend Raphael. He's from Namibia. No way. We have a good friend from Namibia. No way. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. We actually always <laughs> want to go to Namibia. Yeah. Listen, 
the meaning of life, and this is the meaning of life, the meaning of life is a search for the meaning. I'm not kidding. If you had everything you've always wanted, life would be boring. You need challenges. I hate to say it, but all these rich superstars, they kill themselves. They have everything and they don't know what to do. And that's sad. I mean, look at us. We're, like, we're these amazing creatures that move around and like think. And it's just so it's beautiful to be alive. It's about, it's about the journey. journey. It absolutely is. And I think like most people know this intrinsically. They do. But the meaning of life is a search for the meaning. It's deep but also not so deep and it's I think eternally true. Let's get even more philosophical. A question that's been on my mind for quite some time. Everyone has an idea of what queer basically means but uh -huh. what is queerness? That's a tough question. I don't call myself queer. I think it's a nice term but I, I call myself gay. Maybe I'm too old for the queer theory stuff but <laughs> I still look very young. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like LGBTQIA+, what is the Q about? You know like I don't care. You don't care, okay. I don't care. So it's just pride. Just pride, okay. Yeah. Just pride. How do you identify? I don't care. It's irrelevant. What does queer mean to you? Like that LGBTQ? What's the Q? I don't know. I, I know only about L. <laughs> okay. And for me, it's okay. Just to be different is to have freedom to be different. It doesn't matter what you are, just to it's like live and let live, basically. How would you phrase it or define it? It's really not so simple because the names are changing all the time. When I started, it was like bisexual, gay or lesbian. And I think queerness is more opposite to heterosexual. And there are so many special things that can be. It can also be transgender, asexual. It's so wide. It's an um umbrella term. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it can be helpful because it sort of unites a little bit, but it also makes the important differences vanish. So it's kind of a good thing, sometimes not helpful, at least in my opinion, but it's okay. You can call me queer. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't about to call anyone anything. I mean, it's just like um, yeah, a question you, of... Yeah, you could though. For me personally, fetish is pride, fetish is queer, and the people should celebrate their sexuality. So fetish is totally part of the whole CSD and you should celebrate your sexuality. Just to find the right description of what I am. It's not easy, but it's important. How did you get this idea, actually? Amazon. Or would you say it's something queer to wear this? It's, it's something. It's still absolutely hard to get an idea of what queerness means. Can we talk about school? Is anything changing? Nowadays, on the one hand, the, the pupils are more open. Uh, it's like uh, 20 one percent of the pupils say they are not heterosexual. Do you have any message to the world? Any dreams in life? Message? Um, no. The message is don't be doing labels and groups. Just be yourself, be one person. And stop trying to belong to a group. Just be one. And then one, that yeah. way you can be one with everyone else. You think that's possible one. to be one in Berlin? Yes. Today? I yeah. think this is the only city where you can be like this. It's a very precious thing, that's why we came all the way from England. There's so many messages in the world, it's like... <laughs> you have a lot of love and a lot of messages on here, yeah, what's the idea behind it? That's not only from me, that's from everybody around here. Love will go all over the world, no matter what's going on. So that's the message to the whole world. That's amazing. Are you living in Germany? Yeah, I've been here since five, uh, two years. Okay. Yeah. Holy pop? Oh, thank you. I was actually giving away lollipops. Thanks for talking to us. Because I'm not making any money with my YouTube channel. But I want to give something back, you know? Thank you. Yeah. And your friends? Do you have one already? Okay. Thank you. And I even exchanged a lollipop for a bracelet with my new friend. <laughs> this is nice. Have fun. Have fun, have fun. you too. Why are you guys leaving this early? I mean, uh, actually, we are really tired. I think we are getting old too. So, yeah. I, I mean, all the people is leaving too, so... We're hungry. Okay. Hello. What's up guys? We're actually vlogging in English. I love the TikTok generation. I don't know how much we will actually use on our video, but she was literally like, I want to be in your vlog. Do you speak vlog. English? Yes. yes, we do. What are you guys doing here? You look quite young. Yes. I'm an ally. Like 21 at least. I'm 18. 18, yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. I'm 17. Afrische Nights, Philip Nights, BIG, Hypnotize Me. Oh, du kennst Ich kenn's natürlich, ich bin auch Deutsche. Ja, 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 auf jeden Fall. Ich shit, I'm from Berlin, my Berlin. I see my hood right now. Vor Beat 21 Lipstick, Artikel, Lipstick, Hansa für den Lipstick. Ja, du hast.
to leave that in for the English viewers. Lolly. I love cultures and I love, like, I hate to say it, but I love nationalism. I love people that are proud of their culture, of their family, of their clan. If these clans can, you know, be a little bit coexist, exactly. And I think we have enough space. It's like, it'd be so boring if everybody was the same. But I love how the pride is like, uh, it used to be like, oh, gay pride. But now everybody's like, yeah, let's yeah. just, you know, let's all be yeah, different yeah, 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 and let's yeah, yeah, be yeah. okay with that. Probably also related to being here, wearing that and kind of feeling free, just express yourself. <laughs> Because you, yeah, it seems like you're kind of stepping out of the system. Exactly, exactly, absolutely. Would you also agree or are you just listening and you're just like, okay, yeah. We have a project actually. It's called The Joylery. It's a community, like an artistic community in Brandenburg. We do other stuff. I mean, like we're, of course, uh, we uh, have to play both worlds. We have to play the commercial, uh, industrial world as well as the spiritual, you know, yeah, search for meaning in life. But, you know, we live on this planet Earth and you got to play the game. Where to like draw the line? Where does freedom start? Oh, oh we'll see in the next years. Like there's like a lot of uh, stuff happening. We'll see. It's nice to have those boundaries where you have way more freedom than you used to have. It's going to be pretty good. I'm jealous of the children of our children of our children, basically. <laughs> Digitalization could either save us, give us ultimate freedom, or it could enslave us in so many ways. So people out there, think about it. I don't know what to say, but think about it. He said, yes, if you want to be friends with me, you have to believe in some conspiracy theories. Not all of them, just some. But it's your job to know which ones. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Good job, okay. Exactly. But this is this is balance of life. You have to be, you know, conscious, political, but at the same time, relaxed and free. The the balance, the yin and yang of existence. Like I help whoever I can. Yeah. People yeah. are not that political because they know that they don't, don't have so much power. Yeah. But they have so much more power helping individuals. And that's where I think that the goodness starts, you know. I've met really interesting personalities and I want to keep asking people about the meaning of life. Let's see where this goes. If you want, subscribe and follow my journey. See ya.